Where do you imagine Stella is exactly in the house at this moment? In her room. In her room. Is the door locked? Yes. Okay, you're at the dressing table. The real Stella's name was Ernest Bolton. He was a nice, respectable, lower middle class boy, but at the end of the 19th century, he was living a wild life in the West End of London as Stella, a society woman and actress and drag performer and part-time sex worker. She's really seized hold of my imagination because she asks so many questions, questions about the body, about gender, how can you, if you are a man, give free reign to all your female and feminine impulses, but also big questions about courage. When you're young, how do you have the courage to live your life and not the life that people tell you you ought to? And when you're old, after you've lived a very long life of scandal, disgrace, heartbreak, laughter, catastrophe, all of the things that the real Stella went through. How then can you know who you really are? Because my play follows Stella right to the end of her life, to 1904, when having been famous all her life for her beauty and her frocks, she ended up dying in a hospital in not a particularly great part of town in London. And because she died in a hospital, she must have died as a man under her male name and in her male clothes. In this play, I'm trying to wonder what that must have been like. And I'm really asking Stella if she's got any advice for the rest of us. What's it going to be like when we reach the end of our journey? Will we be ourselves then? So although it starts with history, with an extraordinary story from history, this is a very personal piece, a very intimate one. And I think Stella's story is all of our stories in lots of important ways.